one of the Australian uh, cricketers to go to the World Cup, Shane Lee. They're very, very good. Uh, he was a player with a bit about him. Good prospect. Yep. Stroke for Sidness to get off the mark. And uh, they get three there. There's uh, Jimmy Ma, who was playing with Queensland. Good player. Then uh, down in Victoria, they only talk about Matthew Elliott. They say that uh, he has to play test cricket. And up here, it's my... <laughs> Three more there. And it's two for 51. World Cup for that. Nice stroke. Beautifully angled bat and perfect timing from Darren Lehman. This is one of the reasons that Darren Lehman scores so many runs at the South Australian Cricket Ground, Adelaide Oval. He's very strong square of the wicket. And that stroke there shows why. Stands up on his toes, angles the bat. Smashes it. He's not too bad off the front foot, straight down the wicket either. Just going back to uh, that World 11 match. We'll be flying back from the World very, very important that Lehman bats on here. He almost was heading back to the pavilion. He'll pick up four for his trouble. But uh, commonly known as the French cut. I guess they don't draw maps. They just count up how many you are at the end of the day. Lehman gets four. From an indifferent sort of stroke. Frenchmen don't like to think of it like that. They prefer to be called the Harrow cut. Surrey Flick is another. Four teams playing off. Ah! Stand down leg side. Not much, but uh, not by much for him to get back in either. Had this been a direct hit, Jamie Siddons may well have been in some trouble. There may have just been a little bit of bat in it. In fact, uh, there was some bat in it. The umpire has given it some runs. But just have a look here. He's in safely. Well judged. He's in safely. Well judged. Great stroke from Siddons. One of his favourite shots over extra cover. Plays it quite beautifully. He's one of the few players in uh, cricket, in first-class cricket in Australia, who possesses the ability. We saw Richard Chiqui do it on occasions today, but go what we call inside out. He gives himself some room. You notice where his feet are outside the leg stump, and he feels a lot more comfortable hitting the ball over mid-off. So taking the bat. He only plays 46 balls. Scott Thompson doesn't seem all that uh, fussed about the fact that they've picked up two there, but he can only blame himself because he's pitching onto the pads of Lehman. Lehman had enough insight. Which is a problem when you get the new ball. In the air, but nicely chipped over the infield. We've seen a bit of this uh, in this match, and each time it's done, it's been effective. Thompson trying this little finger off cutter, but Sidden's equal to it. That's well played, beautifully timed, and right into the gap as well. That's as good a shot as been played today. Always under control, lovely timing.
Thompson must know that the game plan wouldn't be to give Siddons width. Although he's such a strong driver, equally powerful square. And uh, Jamie Siddons has so many psychological advantages over these New South Welshmen. Psychological advantages over these New South Welshmen. He's given it to them for years. 22 from 23. Oh, and again, a magnificent straight drive. Well, that's an even better shot. Consecutive shots. As good as you'll see. Two for 86. Really did uh, smash it away. Just watch this for a good shot. It's just a bit short outside off stump. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Placement was perfect. And then, of course, he followed that up with a straight drive, which uh, went back past the bowler before he had time to do anything. Terrific reading of the bowler, wasn't it? He knew that Scotty Thompson, which pretty new to this game. Whoops, and uh, that was very nearly the wicket they needed so much. The sweep shot played away, and the man strategically placed just behind square. That uh, wasn't quite off the middle of the bat. That's well taken to the throw about 10 metres off line. And Emery have to, has to go after that one and uh, end up diving across the middle of the pitch. Yes, this could so easily have been out. Just have another look at this. This is, in fact, the return, and uh, it's Emery diving away to stop it from running away for overthrows. As pairs have done so often in recent times, 51 in 71 balls. They represent real danger to the Blues. really can be picked up very quickly. Down, 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 down. It's a cheeky chase up. That brings up the 100 for South Australia. And the 24th over. They're definitely in with a chance, but uh, much depends on these two players. Siddons, the captain, and Lehman, who's playing particularly well at the moment, just reached his half century. They win this match, they can jump over the top of uh, Queensland and Tasmania and the points table. Themselves in. Good shot. Excellent timing from Jamie Siddons. Hard man to tie down. The fact that he hits so well over cover, Bill Emery has got a man out in the deep to, to uh, try and cut off that shot. In fact, he's just moving mid off. That's a different move, that one, but it's paid off. It's brought him a boundary. He's got the bowler scratching his head. That he has. I wouldn't say that with either stroke he was uh, in any way perfectly balanced. He got that off the meat of the battle, right? Try and put a bit of pressure on the young man. found the gap in the outfield. They reckon uh, that Kirschler is the one they do need to get after. He's come into the side in place of Matthews, as Ian Chappell pointed out. So he'll be less confident than the player of Matthews. Oh, and bowler. Be uh, filthy with himself there for missing that one, and then a mix up in the outfield. So, what should have been a dot ball finishes up as two. Phil Emery hardly knows what to say. That's the first bit of it. 
All the runt like that. Bad enough missing one of someone else's bowling. And then... This time he does go over cover. Eight runs off the over. It's two for 129. Need to keep pushing it along. Shane Lee. 50 to Jamie Siddons. Jamie Siddons has made 50 from 57 balls and Darren Lehman 62 from 82. So there's definitely no need for them to do anything. Three. Siddons and Lehman. Moving along quite uh, quite quickly, I wouldn't say securely. They make a habit of uh, getting into this New South Wales attack. Jeffrey Lawson, good afternoon. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, it is pretty even so far. New South Wales, we need uh, need a wicket. One of these two right now would be, be very handy. They're both batting quite well. And there it is, just as he called it. They needed the wicket, and it came through Shane Lee. A very good piece of bowling. Darren Lehman looking to hit him straight down the ground, doesn't make contact, and then the off stump gets bent straight back. Well, certainly need to see the back of that man. It's a pretty straight delivery, and Lehman trying to heave it away. And Jamie Siddons at the other end puts the head down and says, what did you play that for? But uh, Shane Lee breaks through. New South Wales needed that one. Third wicket, very vital, but well played, Darren Lehman. Was a very good innings from him. 67 from 91. For South Australia now, 3 for 145. Weber is uh, now out in the centre for South Australia. He's joining his captain, Jamie Siddons, who was uh, very, very upset at the dismissal of Darren Lehman. And uh, understandably, when you see this stroke, Lehman looking to hoist this over mid-wicket. Richie Benno had made the point earlier on that there was some panicking going on between Siddons and Lehman. They were playing all sorts of shots, really in a situation where they don't need to do that. And that could cost their side the games he played. Mostly that older ball. This has got to be out if he hits. He's gone. Yards out. And uh, really, that's just committing suicide, taking that sort of run. It's a be beautiful piece of fielding. But uh, another crucial break breakthrough for New South Wales. The weather being run out. Well, Darren Weber goes for two reasons. One, the pressure put on by the bowling, but also by a super piece of feeling for Neil Waxwell. Let's have a look at it. Good bowling right up the block hole. Weber sets off, and Neil Maxwell has him by yards. And as a coach, you like to see those sorts of things because you practice them for hours and hours every week. The underarm throws at the stumps. And when you get a good shot at the stumps, you'd like to make the hit, and Neil Maxwell does the job. So South Australia lose their fourth wicket. Four for one, four seven. James Brayshaw is out at the wicket. The uh, fall of the fourth wicket out of Darren Webber, and he was run out in this fashion. Darren Webber had been caught on strike for three or four balls, anxious to get off strike. Beautiful bounce for Neil Maxwell, lined it up, took his time, and the bottom of the middle. And then Darren Webber just gets into frame. Jim Cameron, umpire. Looking at the ball, be heading for the crease. Jeffrey, you'll be heading back to the sheds. Thanks very much for joining us. And there's another one. So it's all falling apart for South Australia. Shane Lee doing the job for New South Wales. He's bowling very straight and on a good length. And the crucial wicket of Jamie Siddons goes clean bowled by Shane Lee. So South Australia in all sorts of trouble. Well, Jamie Siddons wasn't too happy when Darren Lehman heaved one across the line and lost his off stump. Now the captain goes the same way. Just a bottom edge on the leg stump, and gee, what's he doing playing a shot like that? Mind you, I'm happy. I've got three wickets in my spell, and I will get back to the sheds. Thanks very much, Jeff. It's now five for 147. Joe Scuderi is out in the centre for South Australia. He's out there uh, as a result of... A crucial wicket for New South Wales. Shane Lee picked up the wicket of Shane. 
Jamie Siddons. And uh, that sent the leg stump cartwheeling back. No real need for that. That sort of batting at that stage. And uh, Tony Gregg, they're really digging themselves into a big hole. No real need for it. He, uh, he absolutely ashamed of that. South Australia are trying to get themselves back into this competition. They need to win this match. And they need to win it well as well. And uh, what we've effectively seen here is their two senior players. Some good batting now. They need to score at uh, just over six. Well, in fact, it's sort of nudging up to about seven now. 6.8 and over. And that was... Um, I think that figure there is what's been troubling both Siddons and Lehman. They were looking at themselves. You've just got to let them come. But the ones and twos were a feature of that partnership. Good placement of the ball, just like we're seeing on this occasion. As uh, Brayshaw picks up two. Good placement of the ball. And lots of ones and twos. And all of a sudden that puts pressure back onto the fielding and bowling side.